All right, microphone check. One, two, skip. Everything else, you already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is underway. Episode 45. I'm wow. set, Jeez. bitches. I like, I don't know. I she couldn't even wait to the end of that. She, she had to jump in. I mean, <laughs> She's like, I'm here. Of course. Uh, Mr. J. Hill, I'm here. Kayla Bay is here. Miss Renaway in the building. Alexander LeBlanc is here. The Blanc. I got to say every time. Sorry. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. The whole fun. gang is in the building. You already know Pink Celebrity is here. Wyman J Productions is here. Lante Base God. Geo to Leo. And special audience guest, my mother is in the building. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hello. I've never met you. I didn't even realize that there was like an extra person here. I was going to you here. came out. I apologize for my profanity. Yeah, well, so that's what thing. I was going to. So I'm confused because, you know, yeah, that's what to I was... me, I love it, Ma. I love it. So I was about to go into it and say, um, <laughs> I feel like all of us have, like, you know, our, our parents are like always the our biggest supporters, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Even we my don't... mother tried to fight me last night, but keep going. But I'm pretty sure she's probably one of your biggest Wait. Supporters. Like, it's always. Okay. Like, this is, it'd be like going straight, then left. Like, left turn, U turn, you know, right turn. I am she's, not going to She's this blocked on you. everything. I don't care. I'm it's not up. about to do this with Jasmine. It's <laughs> stuck. I blocked her on everything. And I got an open case right now. She's trying to fight me in public. Oh, nah. Oh, come on. And then she, people would start holding her back that she won't flex up. Like, come on. You wasn't doing all that before the people came. Oh, my God. This is a real life situation. Yes. It is. <laughs> and I still showed up to work on time. I wait, wait, what, what? I still showed up to work, though. I wanted to cry. <laughs> I like how you said- I, I've had a rough week. Like, I wanted to, like, literally just stay home today and just, like, never come back out again. But then I was like, nah, that ain't the move. Wait. I'm glad you're here. You made it. <laughs> that's goofy. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was assuming. But, um, yeah, so, <laughs> mo- for, mo- for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, our birthday. parents, our parents be our biggest supporters, right? Even if we don't want to. I feel like, It'd be a lot of situations we'd be like, no, nah, I don't support this and that, really. Like, am I, am I the only one that'd be feeling like that? Like, it'd be awkward. Like, this podcast, we talk about a lot of stuff on this podcast. And you get very, yes. watches everything. And she'd be like, yeah. So, and I'd be like, I remember we talking about sex but, one time. She's like, yeah, because I remember when I was Jason, younger, and I'm like, whoa. I don't want to hear that part. Wait a minute. Let me tell you like, when Shadow like, like, oh, my knees don't work like she used to. My mom's coming like, yeah, I remember because my my. I, like, <laughs> my knees don't work. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> oh, my. But like, I be telling Jay, like, me and mom's be here. He swear his mom is like, he doesn't talk like that. No, because I don't say that. No, no, no guy, that. You know, no guy wants like, to believe that his mom, mom conceived him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jay, never, do you still think that a goose dropped you off? No, no, no. I know <laughs> exactly what's good. I know what, what happened, and I know what on. happens. And all I'm saying is, <laughs> That ain't none of my business to be talking about. True. So you know what I'm saying? That's it. It's a respect level. So but what stressing happened, me out. Right. <laughs> so, but what happened is like, have y'all ever like blocked your parents? Because I feel like my mom's mates, like. My mother's blocked from everything. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> she wants everybody to know. Like, it's something that needs to be clear, my mom. But like. We're going to talk about this after the okay, podcast. Think, like, we're going we're gonna to have a healing I think session. Like, the, right. the, the biggest stalker is my mom's because like, I feel like she's made, purposely made like multiple social media accounts just to be able to follow me. <laughs> But, like, you know, when they older, they don't know what's going on. They're yeah. like, what's wrong with my phone? Like, they won't let me see your stuff. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, you knew. Because I think my knew. profile's not working. Here's nah, yeah, you're I'm blocked. You got blocked. <laughs> because literally, yeah, I Ma, only I know. created my social media to stalk you. <laughs> <sighs> it's not even... <laughs> but, but, uh, but shout out to Jay, because Jay has, like, the most supportive mom. So yeah. she's always... Wants to be, so I'm happy she's here. Now, I don't know how this works, because I don't know how to filter. Right, know, so it's I like... I feel like Ma knows me. I know, I feel like Ma knows me, so it's okay. So I'm good. You know uh, our I'm heart. Good. You know, good. Good. You know our heart, Ma. You know <laughs> So here's the thing. <laughs> okay. Do you, boo? I know that's she's talking too much in the background already. Like. <laughs> know, she she don't know how this goes. Love it. <laughs> we love to see it. Shout out to Miss Jones. She don't know how this goes. It's okay. She's going to see work me. She's like, I don't like him. Let's see, let's see, let's see how anti... Uh, woman, you are today with your mother oh, here because this guy's been yeah. capping. Hell yeah! He talks the most sh- about <laughs> See, it, it. Messes up the podcast already. Podcast is messed up. Episode we 45. all filtered. Is, is it right? Yeah, when she already <laughs> sh- filtered. <laughs> That's the name of it already. Filtered. Filtered. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. I love hey, you. Go ahead. Yo. So how was y'all week? What's going on? What's the week like? Uh, how was your first day? How was your week? Y'all on to something now. Y'all asking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's snapping. You know what I'm saying? Y'all asking me. He acting different. He's snapping. Okay. Look, asking me we on week. Two weeks in a row. Mm-hmm. My week was cool. Um, Everything cool over this. On this, and we had the party. Oh, yeah. I be forgetting things. Like, we had the party. 
Halloween Success. party, with, which was l- it. Definitely lit. Definitely lit. Banged it. Um, I'm really trying to like exit this host conversation now. <laughs> I feel like all my friends on the same thing now. Like we, ain't, I ain't trying to host nobody party no more. Really? I need, I need a partnership on the party. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we on nah, different conversations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. I definitely feel you. On I need that. my own that's event space though, because I be every time yeah. it's like every time you get through one devil or so called like it's always another. It's, it's not like a, that. You break yeah. through a glass ceiling and exactly. then you see another ceiling yeah. above yeah. you. Right. Yeah. So it's not even a devil. It's like okay, we got the spot. We had to pay for the spot, and then we just break it down numbers on the back end. And I'm like, okay, so you mean to tell me if I own the spot, <laughs> then we? That's a blessing though. That speaks to the growth though. So now the week was dope. Um. Everything is getting ready, getting set for uh, Mexico. Yeah, the week was cool for me. I mean, Mexico. towards the end, Shade got a little crazy, but I mean, that's just like a, like you know, like a weekly thing, you know. Like, <laughs> anyway, happy birthday to Jazz. That's happy birthday. birthday. Oh Thank yeah, happy you. birthday. Birthday. I turned this week. I did twenty-one. Yes. Okay, yes. twenty-one. Yes. So you know, I'm 21. finally grown. I'm finally, I can drink now. Okay, I'm so um, proud. Yeah, I had, well, I'll just get into my week. I had, I didn't have a great week. I did have a good birthday. Um, and I'm blessed and appreciative to be able to see this next year of my life. Uh, it started off rocky, but I'm used to, I'm used to it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm, I'm here. Diamond in the rough. You know, I'm here. There How was go. your week, girl? You started skipping everybody. How was I, your week? My week was cool for real. You know, I'm getting ready for Mexico. You know what I'm saying? Because my birthday's up next. It's so. Nice. <laughs> You know, the Scorpios have arrived and are officially here yes, and touched down. Here. Um, so my, <laughs> my week, what did it go? Honestly, I worked all week. Work was cool. I've been trying to um double up on my work because nobody called me. I'm out of the fucking office when I'm out of the fucking office, okay? I don't want to hear nothing. Don't call me. So I doubled up on work. Um, I had great workouts this week. Worked out with Mo this week, two hours in the gym. She put it out of work. I was proud of you, shorty. <laughs> um, my legs are still on fire. However, the stomach in the waist is snatched, so you will see it in Mexico, okay? Um, <laughs> uh, Look at his face. Um, what? I'm just so, my, uh, mimosa. So, I'm glad you got a mimosa. Wait, Jazz doesn't have a mimosa? I, no, what I got? Well, I, see, what is that? It was a mistake. An empty cup? What's it was going a on? mistake on my end. Because you I, want uh, some of mine? What a welcome back. back. Yeah, you want some of mine? Take mine. It's, it's not going to be able to pour it. Me up. You ain't going to be able to pour it. Wow, You're not because it's going to Because he just doesn't want me to have a good time. No, it's going to go down a cup. Thanks. No, it's not no. gonna oh, work. Well, they said no. Dad said no. It's okay. Wait. How about you just give her your glass and I give you mine? Man, I'm gonna be. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you what, take what's that. your mother's name? Let me ask and, and see if I can do this. Hmm. Right. Just take that. Just take the whole guy. Just take the real mom. Since the real, right, the real parent. Yeah. See, his mother no, shaking her I'm head. Saying, yes, your take, mother said I can do it. I'm saying so. take the glass. I'm, no, don't pour it. Just take it. Nah, I don't think, I'm no, pour just it. take the glass. Oh my God. Just listen for a second, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Why, why, why you just take the glass? Like I gave her no, Jay, glass. You literally, you literally spilled more on my pants before we started filming. So go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> this little bit, that's gone. Because I learned from my mistake. Like, that's why I'm saying don't pour it. Like shit, I just witnessed it. But these pants are like leathery, so it'll Poof, dry. be gone. Yeah. The couch um, not. The couch is good. I already got rid of nah, it. I fell on my... <laughs> oh, all right, whatever. Go ahead. Is, oh, I swear, yeah. I did. it was like a little teeny drop, I swear. Other than that, uh, we was good. I ain't no, I ain't no real complaint. Ain't no real complaint. Well, what the fuck you got to say? Whoa. Oh, because you made a face like... I was going to say you look good. Oh, I like you, your makeup. Thank I like you. your uh your whole ensemble. Thank you. Ensemble. Okay, that's a new word. Is it ensemble or, or the ambiance? The ensemble. <laughs> I like it though. I do. Ensemble. Okay. Cute, baby. I like it. That's innovation at its finest. Yeah. Yo, let's see it. Let's get into the podcast. Wait, Alex, good, right. Oh, Thanks, Jay. Yeah. Now we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Alex, how was your week? Oh, Alex turned up on me. No. Thought you were just going to speak, but I was like, yeah. Yeah, Alex. <laughs> Alex said, my week's good, Jay. Hey, I'll never turn up on y'all when y'all gang it up on me. It'd be three against one. Okay, Alex cool. Alex is always saving you, please. Look, uh, nah, my week is great. It ended off even better because Tank won last night. So yeah. it was a, it was a great, great week. Is he alive? Is, is the court, what's the name We're going to send up prayers for his family and everything because he killed that man in the ring. Yeah, it was a pretty. I think I think it was a good fight though. I think I think dude definitely gave him a run for his money. I think he went. He lasted longer than a lot of people thought. A lot of people keep saying, you know, Tank was stalling him. He was trying to figure him out. I'm people. I'm a lot of people. I said that. (laughs) (laughs) That was me. So wait, y'all want to hear something funny? 
So oh, I okay. used to work. At, well, you know, I, I yeah. we work together. So I used to work at a club in Baltimore, and I didn't know who he was. You know what I'm saying? He tried to get your number. You dissed him. No. Oh. So but he's like two feet tall. Because if he gave you the number, he's okay. definitely two feet tall. Yeah. Which leads to my story. So you know he be with YBS and them. So you know then my niggas, I'm YBS cool with them. them. I mean, you know I'm cool with them. So it's like, all right, I'm working at the door, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, yeah, y'all good, come in. But then he gets to the door, and I'm like, ho, oh, where's your VIP? Where's your wristband? <laughs> Hey, Aww, yo, dick. I'm like, picture somebody from out of town working the door in Baltimore. You try to get in and she like, oh, now I'm from out of town because like, I'm from D.C. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. You really call everybody from out of town that's from out of Baltimore. You really from D.C.? <laughs> from a, I mean, you know what I'm, I'm saying, Maryland, County. but I'm close. I'm from Montgomery yeah. County every oh, day. Right. What okay. you mean? Oh, you're right. But, yes, but you, yeah, all, right. all the time, because let me tell you something. Don't don't get it twisted. But, you know, I'm I'm like 15 minutes from D.C., so. I don't know nothing about Baltimore until now because I got a lot of friends out there Yo, and I the worked out there. In. But like, nigga come up to the door. Man. Look, he dripping. I'm like, ho. Because, you know, these niggas in Baltimore, we having a fake drip. We got to talk about that, too. So I'm like, ho, where's your VIP band, sir? This nigga like, everybody like. Get the door, girl. Nah, this nigga was like, hey, man, somebody come get this bitch. <laughs> I said, oh, hell no. You know me. Boom, drop the box at the nigga. What's up? Everybody like, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. You gotta get your dumb ass. I know. I was gonna get clean. You would have, you would have got a check though, but you would have got knocked out. I was not respectful. I would have the check. We don't, we don't have a name for that. But 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 we don't have a name for that. Listen, I didn't know who he, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> Should have been dead. I swear to God, I didn't know who he was. You know? <laughs> so, so look, so niggas is like, chill, 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 chill. Let me holler at you. Not you. I'm like, nah, man, get the fuck off me. Like, man, what's up with this midget ass nigga? Like, man, y'all better, yeah. So my man like, nah, for real. Come here, chill. But he like, hey, man, he like, this nigga's a professional boxer. I'm like, oh, man, I ain't never seen him. <laughs> he like, Must not be good. just chill. So I'm like, man, all right, I'm gonna chill. Then he had a fight, like, a couple months later. Knock that nigga out in the first round. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> and now you know. End the story right there. That's it. I, I saw was it. Like, it was done. Damn, I would have got my head knocked off. Yeah. Bro. And then <laughs> look, been Halloween so, for real. So this one nigga I'm cool with, he was with him one day. He had him on the FaceTime. I try to act like I ain't never seen him. Hi, how you doing, sir? Head down. Utmost respect. You know what's funny though? I kinda wanna segue because you said something about fake jewelry. I don't know if y'all saw this. Cause I wanna ask y'all, right? Oh, Ocho Cinco said that like he wears fake jewelry. You know what I'm saying? I like, mean, yes, yes. I mean, somebody would know. I mean, like, is that true? I don't know. But I mean, but no. <laughs> hey, like, I ain't never seen that before. Ms. Grim, what you, what you know? No, 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 no. I don't know nothing oh, about yeah, that. But know. I was gonna ask you because okay, he was like, first of all, the appeal. he is very frugal, what? but he does not wear fake jewelry. Some of that is obviously for. Cap, he be joking. But Some I was gonna ask for, you though because yeah. his what he said. He was like, everybody already knows who I am. So the allure would be that I would be Bro, wearing the jewelry. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah. if you see jewelry on me, would it be real? Shout right. out so to when Ocho. You make it, Ocho's lying. Would you wear, <laughs> like, so, when you're a millionaire, millionaire, you got a bunch of money in your account. Would you wear fake jewelry? No, but do you remember the, the movie uh, Dope? Yeah. It reminds me of Dope I because love that movie. They was, it was the white girls. They were buying, like, um, designer bags, right? And, mm -hmm. and one of the, the part of the movie, they were saying, like, it's crazy because like a white girl can buy a Louis Vuitton and nobody will ever, nobody yeah. will ever like yeah, question is it real yeah. or not. Mm -hmm. Old time when somebody else black buys it, we have yeah. it has to be real because you want to check and everybody want to know if it's real or not. Yeah. So, but to answer your question, I wouldn't wear it because it's like if I'm a, I just might not wear nothing if I'm take the J Cole route. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I don't have to wear anything. Yeah. You know what to be saying? honest, there's um a lot of classy fly Caucasian females in DC that I work with and they be wearing hella fake bags. And yeah, like them. <clears throat> that's true. And I actually had one at you know we were talking about it and she was like, oh this is the site I go. She's like, girl, I'm not spending all that money on this. And you know fly, what else they do? Fly as hell too, but wearing fake bags. And they're getting stuff. But they get top notch replicas. That's the that thing. and it's crazy. And they get stuff like after it's already like after black people buy it, yeah. the price on it goes down. They put it on those sites where yeah. and then yep. they get it for like cheap. It's real, but they get it for cheap because yeah. once we wear it. The value goes down on it. Wow. Yeah. I ain't never heard that. I ain't never before. That's that. interesting yeah. though. I gotta look into my that uncle, one. That's my a different type of racism. On, he works he does insurance and he works with like yeah. you know, people who's like I mean, he works for people who are like multi millionaires. Yeah. So they put him on and then he put wow. me on. So mm -hmm. it's true. First of all, don't have no kids. I'm over here trying to work. I see a text on the screen from Amaya. 
that she sent to Monique because I already told her. I wish I had the. My daughter's on punishment. I wish I had the. Shout out to her. The cord. I love her to death. Can you see what this? If I had the cord connected, uh, I would embarrass her even more on the podcast. She's not answering the phone though because she know what's up with me. She know what's up. But yeah, um, let's get into the podcast, man. Uh, we got a lot of like um interesting conversations to have today. Uh, we talking about comparing relationships. You know, I feel like Jade always want to compare our relationship and shit. What? Huh? I can never compare nothing. Hold up. Hello? Amaya. No, you can't get tips. Stop texting us. No. And don't Thanks. start texting me about it. Yeah. Stop texting I mean, us. You already know you can't get them. It's a dub. You all right? Bye bye. Love you. <laughs> all right, come on. <clears throat> so, uh, let's get it. No, nah, all, all jokes aside, though. Like, when it comes to, like, we were talking about you last week, right? How comparison is a thief of joy, right? Right. <clears throat> uh oh. Well, I didn't read it. No, nah, I, so I didn't <laughs> read it. I didn't read it. But yeah, so we were talking about how, like, comparison is a thief of joy. But I feel like in relationships, a lot of times things could be going great or things could be going good until you see somebody else. And it's like, well, I want you to do that too. This is really for. Guys, my kid is <clears throat> calling. Give me just one second. This is for my lady, Sade, Kayla Bay. I feel like one time you compared our relationship and I hated it. And it's crazy because it kind of goes into both. I wish we'd have went to PDA first. One of our old friends were like doing like, they was like extensive with the PDA. And Charlie be like, like, you don't even want to kiss me in public or hold my hand. And I'm like, hey, what? I don't mind doing none of that. First of all, that's just not me. I just got, I got to, you got to take baby steps first. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, that's not how what soon, I do. How, I don't, early, how early was it in your relationship? It probably wasn't that early. We probably got for like a year and a half, maybe. Yeah, and she was like, I never heard her say that until we seen them. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. But I wanted to ask you, do you look at other relationships for, like, not inspirational? I don't know. Do you look at them like, man, this is what I want to try to, not shape it around, but it do I have any type of influence on how we interact with each other? So it's crazy. So this was actually the point of my topic for PDA. So I kind of got to go into it, but help me. We can switch go, it as long. Go ahead. Go, go, go straight into it. So in terms of PDA, right? So it's so crazy that he said that. So. Do I compare our relationship to other relationships? No, there's no relationship. I'm like, oh, I wish that was like mine. What it is is, so what I found out about like PDA, obviously public displaying of affection, right? Is a lot of people like, well, not- Because ass. It's like, nah. Because <laughs> what? Childish. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> oh, I missed it. You dismiss it. Dismiss it. The podcast is going to hear it. Um, you'll hear it when you edit. So <laughs> production is dying right now. They want to laugh so bad. I'm stressed. So, <laughs> I'm just stressed. Y'all just be stressing me out. Jess came back and being a menace. Just Jess. And she came in in red and black and just. The devil. The advocate. <laughs> just the advocate. So, I was myself yesterday, probably. Because <laughs> what better monster is the green eyed monster? Ah. So basically, so what it is is, you know, I. Are you okay? Huh? All right, come on. Let's go. All let's right, go. Pro, pro. We stress. So, okay. So, so what it is, right? When it comes to PDA, like, I realized that I've always liked a lot of PDA, right? But I think that I never really talked about that, like, in the beginning dating stages of relations. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, just for example, like, in my, like, with one of my experiences, we'll call them, or examples, we'll call them, you know, not to call them, you know, exes, right? So I used to always like PDA. Then what are they called? O's? <laughs> I'm just, I, I like didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that was corny. O, like O's and O's. Okay. So yeah. basically, he didn't like. He ain't like that, though. No, he ain't no, like wait, that. I ain't like that. You might give you love when you oh, be having please. something, oh, but that please. wasn't it. Right. What? The O's? Like, nah. I, I thought she was like X's. Old, yeah, that's like, what I meant. I know what she meant. But that's you what I like, oh, oh, like, I'm right so I bad. Like that. that. That's fine. It's not about what you like. Co- so, speak of our joy. See, get it, like, I don't even want <laughs> you want to tell your stupid ass comparison because now I don't even want to talk about it because now you throwed me off my whole subject. Like, like, <laughs> no, go, go, go I asked you a question. Yeah, yeah. There you go, just compare my joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good when I be like, good one, babe. She be, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really. You be like, I be like, you don't got to do that. <laughs> But anyway, Damn, they, my man can't get his fly. I'm just over right. here being devil's advocate like today. I'm I just want to let y'all know. She is stirred. I'm like, stirred the pot today. You should have said last week we had a nice, wholesome episode. Very much All right. so. Very now calm we're talking about pussy digging ass. All right. Because that's what Chad said. Oh, that's, that's what you missed. That's what you missed. That's PDA. That's what you missed. That's what you said for PDA. What's going on? Go ahead, man. Let's get back on track, bro. 
real, for real, for oh real. Oh, God, mom just turned around. <laughs> <laughs> My dad said it first. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> so, it's hot. So, is it the so, lights or is it just the... So basically... Amaya, oh enough. Hmm. So so basically, long story short, so I always, like, always been a super affectionate, like, touchy-feely person. That's just who I am with, and when I'm dating somebody or not dating. Hmm. I'll say, like, in a relationship with them, right? So one of my exes, like, didn't like PDA at all, right? So we go years through the relationship, and I actually, like, stopped doing it completely. Mm. And I didn't realize, like, that I converted to his way, but that wasn't my way. So what happened is, boom, you leave that old situation, then you go to your next situation. Now I think I don't like it. The whole time I do. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, as you unravel it and you go into it, it's like, wow, I've always been the type to love these things. And it's almost like equivalent to somebody shutting your voice down, and you didn't even realize it, right? So, for example, when it ha- when that situation happened with Jay and I, I think it was just something that I, it was like a trigger for me. Like, mm-hmm. damn, I always like that. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We don't do that. But realistically, the reason why I brought the conversation up, because I see a lot of women go into details just about, like, how they feel like, you know, they always, like, they feel like they in a relationship, but it's like they bro, like, for real, until it's time to get in the bedroom. But, like, other than that, it's like we besties. Like, you know what I'm saying? Until it's time to fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, all that to say. <laughs> uh, no, like, all that to say is PDA for me is actually a big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm learning, what I've learned is, like, that's something you got to stay up front. Because, for example, you don't really give your partner a chance to act on your PDA if you don't tell them that you actually like that. So if they don't like it, now guess what? They're just not doing it because that's what they're used to. But the whole time if you tell them, they might give it a try and they might like it too. Like, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't even do that because I would just, like, I, I convinced myself that I didn't like it either because – that's what I was used to all of a sudden for years, if that makes sense. So when it, when it comes mm-hmm. to being in a relationship, um, you mm-hmm. touched on a couple things. Mm-hmm. I want to say, if you could write this down, Monique, if you don't mind, um, and we're going to touch on this right after my other point. I feel like a lot of women don't really, they don't really act in what they want. So like they always want something in return, but they don't never, like... Some people don't communicate it. Not right. even that. It's like they don't... They don't give it. They don't give what they want to oh, receive. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if 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 the best pay, the best way to be a leader is to lead and to show your people how it's done. When it comes to women, in my experience, I feel like like so you're saying Shade, initiated. Yeah, like like Shade don't un- never initiate what she wants, right? And what never? No, nah, that's a bad. Yeah, that was bad. That was very bad. I feel like a lot of times women don't initiate what they want. Um. And that was going into, it's like, you, you like this, but I understand what you said. Because you said you, you forgot it. In your last relationship, your guy didn't do it. So it's like, it was easy for you not to do, do it. it anymore. But then even after, yeah. you, even after you made the statement, you weren't initiating it. Well, even- I can't say that's true. Because there's sometimes where I feel like, especially when it comes to PDA, right? It's little things, right? So, like, somebody may like that, like, whatever. But if I, like, try to do something, touch your hand, you, like, kind of move away, I automatically turned off. I won't try it again. So it's not necessarily that I never initiated. I might like there like or that might we're, we're it's, you know it's a relationship podcast. I feel like early before I don't feel like we're like this now, but like before I think there was a time that I tried to do a little something, but you weren't really on that. Like it was just like and you might have unintentionally didn't realize like well, you what pulled was the away. Em- what was the environment? Or, yeah, yeah. Well, it uh, it also depends on the environment. So me, like, I'm I'm just be a, keep it hundred. Like I'm a type of girl. Like you know what I'm saying. I like all that. I like my nigga to smack my ass in public. You know what I'm saying. Grab me up. Like. You know, grab me by my throat, kiss me in my mouth, like whatever, like straight up. Like that's all I, I've always been that type of girl, but I'm just not forcing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna force that on you. It's, it's either we have that if if you know what I'm saying, and yeah. it's not even like a vibe like where I feel like we have that vibe or don't, because it's not sometimes to me it's not even chemistry. We can still have chemistry. If you're just not into that, you're just not into it. You know what I mean? So it's not like a force. Like you but know what I mean? feel like <clears throat> you force what you want to force though, because mm-hmm. even in when it comes to we had a conversation of uh woman <clears throat> being stern on what they want right Right. and i and i we joke about women forcing us in relationships but it's really just you knowing what you want so it's like pda is not a deal breaker but it's not that that's that to me it's like so for you know like not being stagnant in my relationship and sitting here playing games and not putting my foot down like nigga you either do this or not to me that's a deal breaker it's either you do it or you don't but pda is not a deal breaker because to me that i just feel like it's a preference thing right that's just how i feel <clears throat> so. Okay, so I, I I feel like I don't know. I just feel like if you want something, if you want anything, you can't complain about it if you're not going to give it. I never complained about it though. You have. That's a lie. When? When we saw 
Our, that was you said that was like a year. We about to be on three years, but two years ago I complained one time. I know what I'm saying now, because now I complain. No, I'm saying because we're talking so about what it. Did you compare it to? <clears throat> so I never complained about it. What it was is I seen it. I'm like, you know, we don't do that. Like, you know, what I'm saying like whatever. But in, at that time too, you gotta understand. Like, I grow every day. So at that time, I might have said I it grow like every day. <laughs> yeah, every second. Fucking me, I'm not even the same bitch as I was five thing. seconds ago. <laughs> I'm a whole queen right now. <laughs> Thanks. But, <laughs> so okay, all right. Well, off that. Um. On to the next point I was about to say is I feel like when you made a p- point about um niggas wanting their girlfriend to be the homie until it's time to have sex. I, yeah, I've seen that be a topic, yes. I, I mean, I, what's wrong with that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I feel like it depends on your, the, the, I feel like it depends on your, in, your, your situation. Because like, for example, like I seen, I just seen a meme a couple of days ago where it's like, for Halloween, I'm going to be the bros because niggas love their bros. Like, I you know what I'm saying? That that you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas love their homies. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but and it's like, it's one of those things, like, I feel like it depends on the girls. Some girls are that type. And then I feel like you just got to know your partner because some girls don't want to be treated like their bro. So bros. I feel like I always end up being the bro. But I think mm. I understand what you're saying. Like, I don't, um, I don't <clears throat> care for PDA, but if I'm with you and I really do, like, have that, feeling for you then i will give pda you know what i'm saying you will initiate it i will initiate i have no problems initiating Mm -hmm. anything Mm -hmm. so if i jump on you in Mm -hmm. front of everybody Mm -hmm. then that's just what it is Mm -hmm. but i think that um in the beginning stages i'm not going to do that Mm -hmm. out of respect for you because Mm -hmm. sometimes i think men can get a little bit embarrassed or shy because it they it doesn't demasculate demasculate Help me. It's just this is vulnerability. Demasculate. That... Demasculate? No. Yeah, demasculate, demasculate. them. Emasculate. But, emasculate, I think. But emasculate. It's them. emasculate. It's emasculate. It doesn't yeah. emasculate them, but I think, um, you know, like, you know how they, people say, oh, we want a lady in the street and a and freak in the sheets? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that has a lot to do with it. Like, I think men don't want other men to see. Right. That about their woman when they really care about right. them. And Jay has voiced that. Right. So Jay it's because, like, right. Shadi said, like, I want you to smack my ass in public, grab me by my throat. Yeah. And I'm like, I like it. No, why am I not I'm about to do that? But, like, Jay you don't has, want, you don't Jay's want, Jay's always him. like, he doesn't want people to envision. Yeah, because like I know where like, a nigga right. head and, could and, go. And that's cool. But, yeah. so, but, and that's fine. Like, I, I and again, you. I think that's just where it comes the down shit to. I nigga for even thinking about it. I feel you. But I feel like, but to me, that's how you claim your territory. I feel like that's a part of claiming your territory, though. Like, it's like, no, I was like, I wish you would do it. That's my bitch. Right. I could Facts. do it. And like, I like you know that. What I mean? And it's crazy because as like as you get older, right? And I feel like it might just be an insecurity in a young man stage because as you get older, you hear like older men talking about that woman in the bed and what they do. And I just be like, y'all are wild. And like they be just like, yeah, because I took my girl. Like and I'd be like, whoa, like y'all are bugging. Like it's your girl. They're more what? secure within themselves. I feel yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm definitely. <laughs> Look, we got inside jokes. Yeah. Yeah, I have one last week. Fuck y'all. Jazz back now. I got one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah so I just feel like, but when it comes to initiating, I just feel like a lot of women don't do that. And when it comes to like being my, my homie, I just feel like that's cool. Like that is what I want. And and I'm showing you that's what I want. So if you want something different, how about you show me different so I can get used to that? I, like I said, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that 100%. Respectable. But I just feel like, again, like I feel like there has been times that like in the past, not now, but that I did try to do, and you just wasn't with it. And sometimes that can shy people off. It like, can. And it can it make really, you hesitant make, to do it the next exactly. time. When have you ever grabbed my hand and I, I reached back? Like, it, it might not even be a hand. Like, when we in public, like, I don't know, like, even, like. Whenever you went to give me a kiss and I never gave you a kiss. It's not even a kiss. kiss. It's just, like, I can't explain. So what I have For example, it might not even be that. But, like, if you, like, you say you literally has have expressed, like, I don't want nobody seeing, so I'm not gonna really go that's do it. That's me slapping your ass, me yeah, fucking but you that's all what wild. I want. I'm not saying fucking me all wild in front of people. I'm not saying that. Hell wait, no. wait a minute. I mean, how the hell do we even? I don't get even from know where he got that from. That I mean, to, because that's what he said. Off the that's, ledge. That's where he. But took what I'm it, saying is, you said he, you said it was been, it was it's been times where I feel like you tried to do no, something I'm, and okay, I, I I'm, boom. Let me rephrase it. I feel like there's points of our relationship where it shied me off of doing. Okay, but you didn't you actually said. initiate it and try it. No, though. I'm not saying no, that No, because either, she must have I'm, initiated I, yeah, it I, and I'm felt not, I just can't give you the prime example. Rejected, exactly. so she didn't do it again. So, but I can tell you, for example, by knowing the men of who you are and the things that you have displayed and told me, it makes me not want to do it because I don't think you're into that. So I, it's going to be hard for me to initiate mm, that. See, like, that I, whether you, that's your opinion, <laughs> but from my perspective. But I'm trying to understand because there's been times where you say, like, for example, you're like, I don't send you news because 
I've talked yeah. about videos and I can understand that and I yeah. can see me. I can understand yeah. that that's me. But yeah. when you say public display of affection, yeah. I don't see that. So I'm trying to understand where did I go wrong or where did I sh- shy you off? Because All I'm it, saying, you, <clears> maybe you not, should initiate you, it next time and then nothing. she might initiate it going forward. But if but that's, not, not, if that's okay. something that I don't want or I don't really care. So not, do you not, not want not, it? No, not saying that I don't want it. If it's something that I don't care about, You're not I'm thinking. not going to initiate it. But now it's time for you to be mindful of it because you know she cares about it. Here's the thing. Even when I kiss Jay, like I'm like, give me a kiss. Even when we play, he's like, it's real. Like, bro, you know I'm what? not going to try to tongue so you down. So you know what? Like, I didn't, I, I, I feel you on that. Cause you get what I'm saying? Like, like, when me and my baby father were younger, I feel like I used to try to tongue him down in front of the whole block. And he used to be like, ah, uh, like. But that goes back yeah, to. Yeah, but that won't shut you up. But, like, you? That, but if I ask for Jay in the public, if I ask for Jay in the kiss, I've asked him in front of people all the time, give me a kiss. He's like, like, I'm like, yeah, it's this. like, babe, I, even, and have I not been like, give me another one. Live. Okay. Because yeah. I'm telling you exactly. Because it's like, bro, like you're initiating. Yeah, I'm, it. I'm, I'm trying, but I can't. Like, so next time I'm not gonna be like, ah, you're gonna be like, whoa, so, whoa, so, whoa, so, whoa, whoa, so, shorty, so, like, so let no. me ask, so since we having the conversation, yeah. when have we ever did that? Like, even when we're not around people, we don't, we, we barely but, like. But this is my point. <laughs> in the bedroom, we do the that stuff. Like, in the bedroom, we have sex. But this what I'm saying. But this is what outside I'm of sex, when but do this we? This is my point because whenever I tried it. It shied me off, so I'm not going to do it. Mm, okay. You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. So even matter. if we're in public. I mean, even e- if we're in private. Yeah, I feel like it's in private, too. You'll be watching it. I'll be like, give me, give me a kiss. So it's the same thing, public or private. So I'm like, maybe he's just but it not might be into that. Your love language is different. Yeah, right, like, and, that's and, that, and, that, and I'm okay yeah. with that. I'm just telling you my take on it. But I'm not, again, what did I say from the beginning? It's not a force. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, not, it's never a force. I'm not, I don't, I don't force no vibes. Like, it's either, you know what I'm saying? Like, woo. However, it doesn't mean that I don't like it. Okay, I like that. Well, you know what I'm my next nigga, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm giving all the PDA. Okay, sang her down in the middle of the street. Yeah. So when it comes to that, like, cause like we get back in, <clears throat> look, I did. When they get back into the comparison um, conversation, if that's not a force, if that's something that you don't really like <clears throat> and you see it, why complain about it? I don't think. Again, that was the first time I've ever said something about it in that nature, and I don't think I was complaining. I asked, like, why we don't, like, why we don't be on, it? you know what I'm saying? But Again, that was two years ago now, me addressing it. I probably want to address it like that today. Either way, I'd be like, you know, I kind of like that. Like, I don't know what you like. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's kind of what I like. Yeah, two they, years ago, I you, think didn't, that, you didn't two, really ask. I think that that's it's... That's fine, but two people who like it, it's easy. I, I think, understand that I think well. that it's okay <clears throat> to s- visualize something that maybe was not at the forefront of your mind and want it then. Yeah. And I think that it's okay to make adjustments mm. in that aspect. Now... Right. If one person is not with it, then that's a different issue. But I think that if one person is unaware and another person becomes aware, I think it's okay to introduce your partner to that. Right. Now, and I, I think so what happens in my recollection when it happened, it was really more of a complaint. Like, like they do this and you don't even do that. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, they don't got shit. To I, do that was got. two years ago. I can't relate. So, I can't relate. And really I think a lot of this is communication, way. the way you, the way you, like, I think sometimes in relationships, um, the way that you present something counts for a lot because if you come home and your dishes are all over the place and you want your man to do it and you're like you got one more time to not do these motherfucking dishes i think that draws people away like man fuck this bitch i don't even want to do these dishes now but i think if you come home and you like ooh, you do them dishes then you know what time it is then he's like right the motherfuckers is going or even so, babe can you handle the dishes for me I'm, i just got work yeah or babe can you yeah i think presentation has a lot to do with um I think presentation has a lot to do with response, right, you know, facts. what you want back. You, get- you have to be able to communicate it in a way that's effective. And I think that's constantly a struggle in any aspect of life, relationships, uh, business, friendship, whatever. The way people receive things, you have to be mindful of that. So you may not be thinking that you're basically pushing him even further away from it by the way you're presenting it. But you are, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think if you present it in a way that he understands it, which also comes to love language, then you might get what you want in return, then everybody's happy. But when you're saying it a certain way and he's receiving it a certain way, now y'all really ain't going to do it because y'all are being prideful and stubborn. Mm. So I was going to ask to add on to that. Like, what is the middle ground between being too clingy versus detaching? Like, how do you find that middle ground where it's not completely detached, but then not overwhelmingly clingy? So far as us, I mean, I don't really... Or because, is there is there a middle ground? Yeah, see me, I don't really. If anything, I'm clingy. Hmm. I just don't really like express nope. it in the most 
clingiest way that you probably way. see it. You know what I'm saying? Right, exactly, right? So I might not express it in hmm. the, the, the normal way that everybody see it. But me, like, all I care about is being around my family or my girlfriend for like, yo, we're going to go to the club. We're going to go to work. If I'm tired, we're going to chill together. We're going to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's my way of being clingy. So I don't, when you ask that question, I don't really think it's middle ground, middle ground because Shit, if it was up to me, it would be with me all the time. Shit, if it was up to me, it would be in my fucking pocket. I mean, honestly. Now, mm. what if what if somebody voiced to you that you were being clingy? Would you shy away from it at that point? If somebody, that's a great but fucking question. I was going to say, but how, yeah, how does that look like, though? Well, that's, like, why, that's what I'm asking. So, like, don't you know how you said, oh, she doesn't, um, she didn't ask you about it or whatever. So, if somebody does say to you, hey, you're being too clingy, then do you now shy away from... Oh, I'm saying the things that you, but that's what I'm but saying. But do you go that's cold? What she like, was saying. You go completely nah, cold, well, or is there? A check it out, though. Like, that's like, what like, she like. was saying about the PDA. So when somebody rejects you from something, it does make you hesitant to do it again. Yeah. So now, in, in all seriousness, if somebody was to say that, like just knowing me, I would just try not to be as clingy, or I would try to understand the root of my clinginess. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I, <laughs> the root like, of your clinginess. Just being honest, like, all right, so there's, what there's I a reason. From? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. what, how do I and how do I get? How do you control it? And honestly, shit, to keep it a hundred. It might help me because I I don't have balance. I I struggle with balance and things. So it's like when I have a girlfriend, I think we had, we talked about this early early in the podcast. When it comes to friends, like my friends should know I got a girl. I'm locked in. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. and if if they my real friends, then if I have a girl or not, they're gonna be the, the homies regardless. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to being clingy or not, like if you feel like I'm being too clingy, then if anything is gonna help me balance out getting back to spending time with my homies, if that makes sense. Right? Okay, that's what I think. I mean, but what you think? I mean, I agree. Agree with what? He's like, so bitch, you calling me clingy? <laughs> Paid for <laughs> Oh, Lord. Look at his face. He said, Jay's like, Lilla. I'm out. Lilla. I'll, see, like, I'll, I'll like, see you tomorrow. I'm, I'm clinking the chains right now. No, nah, I'm not saying that. It's just, but I don't no, know. I'm just, I, mean, I wasn't calling you clingy. I was just playing. <laughs> um, I mean, I, but no, I'm pretty clingy too, though. Too. I'm clingy too, though. <laughs> like, I'm clingy though, but I like my nigga around, though. Like, I'm like, I feel like the one thing, like, me and Jay's relationship, like, we like each other around. We're not a couple who, like, I need to get the fake away from. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like to, like, hang together. Like, we like to party together. Like, we like to chill together. We like to go to moves together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck are you looking at me for? We, is this, is this the same podcast? Yeah. You, you know what? I think be comfortable in who you are because yeah, I'm, I'm the very poster girl of doing like, the opposite of what no, I want to do. I could I, be clingy in my mind but, and be thinking about somebody all day and forget to actually hit right. them up so I say that because and I then like, look like I don't care at all. I only say that because uh one so they be like man I just want to travel like I want with my girls and my bitches and Okay, so it's a difference though because yeah. what I wanted <coughs> yeah. I always wanted to travel with my nigga. Jay didn't want to travel at the time. So yeah, if you're not going to travel, I got to travel. travel. I'm still going like to travel. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I like to it's do. It's not so that whether, I don't like to travel. No, you would rather work, but you had mentioned that you was mm. like I'd rather work than travel. That has been exactly But we can travel and work. No, can, no I don't want to I just said I doubled up on my work this week, so I'm not traveling to work. Well, that's where okay? it comes back travel. to two different but occupations exactly, cuz so, I get it. I'm exactly. traveling when I'm working. I'm not trying to pay to travel when I can get paid to travel. All right, but I don't have that luxury. So therefore, I have to travel and I pay, but I'm going to do it because that's what I like to do. Like whether I'm getting paid for it, whether I'm going for my luxury, that's a part of my lifestyle. I like to travel. So nobody is like, when I'm not, like I said, I love to hang with you, but if you can't do something I don't want to do, it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it though. Cause I still want to do it. I still want to get it done. All right. That <laughs> leads to resentment too. Yeah. Like I, that's, that's exactly why I always do what I want to do because I don't want to resent you and be like, like I, 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 I could have went here and whole time, rah, rah, rah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm, giving you the blues but i'd rather go and be like at least i still got to go like you know what i'm saying like fuck it mm. i feel you yeah. i like that i like that i scroll down real quick we'll go. by the way it's okay to do things your topic it's okay to do things both alone because sometimes yeah. that makes you miss a person more yeah. and then when you get together it's even better yeah so i wanted to talk about um the heart grows harder I, I, I what'd you say the heart grows harder Aw, what a sweet way to put it. <laughs> I meant like, ooh, when I get home, <laughs> I'm up. Yeah. It's Scorpio you, season, bro. Don't, you ain't got to look. Right. Do you, think, yeah. do you think you too. force yourself Facts. to do things that you, you trick yourself into liking things that you really don't like? All like the time. What? For example, <clears throat> like Shade mentioned like how we always like to be around each other. We always like to hang out with each other. We put party together, club together. But honestly, just looking back on our relationship, I feel like a lot of times our issues came from partying together. I don't agree with that. You know no, I mean? think they did. I remember when they did. I think that when you grew and you understood more of his 
occupation, mm-hmm. then it didn't affect it. But I remember times when no, it does. I, it meant, do. I feel like no, I feel like it was vice versa. I feel like it didn't affect that. I used to have just fun when we went out and then things started Well, I'm happening. not talking about now. I'm no, talking no, about but, but I am because it's now. still my present. You know what I'm saying? So like I feel like there's plenty of times that me, me you gotta remember Jay's been in a club. He used to work every Friday at the club and I used to go most Fridays. I used to have a blast. Like I used to have math fun, but there's been times through that. There's been issues, but that's just between you and I. Like, I don't feel like it's because of going out in per se. I feel like we go out and have fun all the time. Well, that's what I'm saying. Outside of an isolated incident, I feel like I've seen the progression just as being your friend and hearing some of the things that you've said. I feel like at first it was fun, right? Yeah. Then it was only, okay, so, and correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. It was fun at first, right? Yeah. But then, you know, it's not your job, so you got tired and yeah, you're like, I don't want to yeah, go. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Real then yeah. that's when it became a little teeny yeah. bit of an issue. Yeah, and for sure. then that's what I'm, once that's you what I'm were saying. able to go again, and and or once you figured mm-hmm. out that balance of when you feel like going and when, and when you, you don't, don't right. it was okay it outside was okay. of the isolated incident. Right. But I feel like right. even right. <clears throat> even in that is the times where like you you'll feel like going, will go, and then the issue happen. Like even like for example, um, mm-hmm. let's say Halloween, right? Halloween happened. Some things <clears throat> happened that wasn't really nothing really like it wasn't neither one of our faults at that at that moment, but you wasn't comfortable. And I feel like a lot of times these happen it's like, are we forcing it at this point because we used to like something and we're just doing it because we think we still like it or like Well, I just like to go out in general. So like, you know what I'm saying? If you gotta move, of course I'm gonna go because it's drinks, music, a vibe, right? Now, I told Jay over the weekend, I was like, I'm probably not going to go out with you when you work anymore. We're going to have to go out separate because, nah, there is things that do happen, whether it's your control, not your control, that I just don't care for. So I said, I will remove myself from the situation and I'll, I'll go out with my girls. And if you, when you're done working, we go out together, but I don't want to go out while you're working because I don't, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, well, we had the so, same conversation yeah, before, though. We did. And that's what she was saying. I took a break from it. And remember, I stopped. I would never go out with you anymore. Like, you'd go work. I'm like, I'm not going. And then I was like, all right, I'll go. Some events have you know came up. I was like, I'll go, and it was cool, and then it was cool till it wasn't cool. So, mm-hmm. how, I when my conversation mm-hmm. is really like, if that's always been an issue, mm-hmm. why do we keep continue to put ourselves in the same place? I don't, I because for me, I don't look at it always as an issue. I looked at it; it was cool. We had an issue. I took a break. I gave it another try, and I don't like it. So now, that's my final answer. And hmm. does it mean that I have to decide to never go out with you when you work? No, it might be a fun event like New Year's or something. You are working and it's New Year's and I want to be out with you on New Year's, so I'm going to go. But it's not, I'm not going to, can't like, for the most part, I'm not going to go. But if it's something I want to go, if I want to go, I'm going to go. Right. So I'm just looking at the bigger <clears> scale <throat> of it. Like if, if, it's, if it's an issue. I don't think the issue is ever that deep for me to not be able to go. Like I'm, it's not nothing popping off crazy where I'm like, oh, I just can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even like on Halloween, it was more so it was his party and I had no seat at his table. Like, what the fuck? No, I, I get party. that. So, like, yeah, it's shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, other than that, like, it's not nothing happening in the words extreme. Like, oh, my God, I just, I can't. Like, where, like, one day I just bored in the house and I want to go out. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to just go. But my conversation is really, like, as a couple when we have, yeah. <clears throat> when we, you said you got to the point where it's like, I don't want to go. And then you took a break. Yeah. So, I'm like, if it always gets to that point, how can we come to the median of just having that boundaries for each other so it won't affect you or it won't affect me either so we don't have to get to the point of you know what i don't want to go out with you when you're working i don't know because i don't think it's always a problem but that's my opinion like you know what i'm saying if you have to you can. no i'm just curious because i mean i feel like it definitely bothered, bothered you a few times and the only way we can really get to a re- re- resolution I feel like the situations though since we're talking about it it just they were all different situations so like it's like you fixed one and then Another one happened. No, exactly. So like, so therefore, I wouldn't know those would arise until I got to that destination. Right. So when I come to the destination, I'm like, okay, it's always something. Now I'm like, you know what? I tried that left, but now it's something else. So now it's like, nah, I'll sit out. But again, it's not gonna be no different. If I'm bored and I want to go, I'm gonna go. I just don't think that's smart. Right, like when I it comes go. to like, <clears throat> when it comes like, not even just a club thing. Fuck the club thing. Okay. If we always doing something right. And it no matter if it's all is if it's difference if it's differences in that one something, right. but if it's always something inside of that that certain area, like why continue well, to yeah, you can say well, why I think out of human nature, because I'm always working on myself, I'm always challenging my own reaction point. So yeah. it has nothing to do with you or the situation at that point. Is to see the level of growth I've came from. So like now this time I made a, a, a like I didn't fuck with it, or whatever. And like again, I might get bored, I'll come out next time, but I know what to expect. So I'm not probably gonna get mad or react to it this time because I already know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? Like, but 
again, a lot of it comes with that expectation thing. So as I'm learning that my expectations aren't getting met, now I know if I go, I'm going at my own risk. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with the situation or where we are. Though that's my reaction and my growth to be able to channel my reaction. Not facts, but when it comes to growth, right, it's also a, a part of like when it comes to growth, recognizing when something just isn't good for you. So, for example, you said it's always something different. So, like, let's say, just be honest, like, let's say one time we're in a club and I don't know, I say something, di um, I don't know, like that, that you, th that you think, don't think I should have said it to a girl in the club, right? And that was something that triggers you. But then next time, like you said, it just wasn't no seat. Now it's not the same thing, but at the end of the day, it's the the, the core of it is still the club. Do I cancel you? Like, because that's what I'm saying. If I'm not but, gonna cancel you, but no, it's not about. Like, I feel it. But here's the thing: when you say that this, and this is just my logic, right? Because you're like, so what? At what point do you just say that doesn't work? Because at that point, I'm. I would, if I find the common denominator, I'm gonna look at you. But so, I'm looking but at it as being the club. But I don't think it's the club. I think it's you. So therefore, if I'm looking at you and I'm willing to give you another chance. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to give it another chance because I'm still working with you. So therefore, I'm going to always look at us to be different with the situation, us to react or act different in the situation. Because if not, then I'm going to cancel you. So how do you how do you prep for it? How do you prep for it? I mean, for me, or like, I how did your mind go into knowing that environments happen like that? So like for me, I feel like it should be a, a, a understanding. OK, like it's the it's this environment. For example, if I'm an alcoholic, I probably don't go in environments that have liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not the establishment. It's not the my friends. It's just me knowing that I can't go in these environments because it's gonna it's gonna tempt it's gonna be tempting, right? Mm -hmm. Like, even if I'm a chronic cheater or a chronic, I don't know, whatever. I'm not gonna go around these situations to put myself in this environment. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so when it comes to that, I feel like because it's always been something different, right? And not saying that that's wrong for her or wrong for me, but because the one common denominator was the environment. How about if we eliminate the environment? Let's see how it works. For example, um, you know Ladon Black from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Damn, you we work with Ladon yeah. Black, right? <laughs> so I remember when I was in high school. This is crazy. I was in high school. This is before we even worked work together. Mm -hmm. I was in high school, and she was telling me that her husband doesn't listen to her radio to her radio show at night because she had the Ladon Black yeah, show, yeah, yeah. right? Part, yeah. So he doesn't listen to her, her her show at night, not because that, not because he don't support her, but because he understands what her work entitles. So if he listen and he hears something that he don't like, he know that can be triggering to that relationship. So he doesn't even listen to. The show, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm thinking of an aspect of like that, if that makes sense. And I'm thinking like, I feel like this isn't just a cup. This isn't just a, a issue that me and Shade might have gone through at a, as a as a couple. I feel like a lot of couples go through this, and and as a as humans, we try to force things that don't need to be forced. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's really my core of the conversation. It's not us, and not to make us argue, but it's really couples forcing things that don't need to be forced if you know that this doesn't do you well and your relationship why do it together you can it's, do things separately and be okay with it if that makes sense it's interesting that you said that sorry mm -hmm. um, but because like i was talking to one of my, my sister actually mm -hmm. and she said that her husband and her don't follow each other on social media uh because in his mind if somebody comments like a hard eyes <laughs> underneath mm -hmm. his mind might be like you know this guy mm -hmm. and she was like i don't know everybody mm -hmm. that comments uh -huh. underneath my pictures you know and it was at one point she deleted her old instagram but he had like a 20k or something followers and you know he he just associated all her followers like you know everybody that is coming that's his so they problem. came to a middle ground but to just not so, follow each so other so because even, they just I, feel like, but I feel like it depends what work everything that works for everybody don't work for everybody right i don't and want I a, say I don't a, want a relationship case. where i can't follow my significant other to me that's right. stupid like i don't want to do that like I, if we i feel like if it's that serious like what's the real problem you know what i'm saying that's just me right it's no different for the club, like, and just to be frank, since we talking about it, like, okay, it sounds good. Like, it's like, just don't come out with me. But then when I want to go out with my girls, it's like, oh, you want to go out with your thotty friends all the time, da 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 da. So it's mm. like, so where's my median? You know That's what I'm saying? Too. I can't come out with you. You don't want me to hang with my friends. And then, you know what I'm saying? What do you want me to do? Like, sit in the fucking house? Absolutely fucking not. So it's just kind of like basically said no. yeah i'm not doing that so it's like what do go write poetry you you know not what i'm saying like pictures. so that's what i say everything doesn't work for everybody when it comes to me and and like just talking about jay's profession and the club like i've been going to the club since i was 17 years old i don't think the club is my fucking issue you're not the first guy i've dated that been in the club like just to keep it a buck my daughter's father was like that like you know what i'm saying that's not my issue like i feel like that's why i said i think the issue underlines jay and i because it, just no different than the social media thing like okay Where's the understanding here that, you know what I'm saying? Like, rah, 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 that this shouldn't have, like, I shouldn't have to but delete like my social, media, my social media. I shouldn't have to not be able to come out with my nigga because it's always, like, where is the, like, for example, you brought up, if you are alcoholic, you don't go where places are alcohol. But what if my partner likes to drink? So now, okay, so maybe, so, but you like to drink and we live in the same house. You're going to start putting some of your bottles away, right? Mm. You're going to start 
I can't do this too much in the house because this doesn't work for my girl too, right? Yeah. So to me, it's a, it's a fair exchange. It ain't just you don't come. You ain't about to stop working. You know what I'm saying? You ain't about to put your bottles away. I'm an alcoholic. Shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, where, where is that happy meeting? And that's why I said, like, the girl, D- Levon Black Le- or whatever, Black, yeah. that may work for them. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that doesn't necessarily mean it'll work here. I feel yeah. like every situation is different. Like, and who you date is different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people, you know what I mean, want to be able to, like, me, like, you know what I'm saying? He say he, like, he want to work with me. He want to kick it with me, whatever. I'm no different. Like, I want to be able to go out with my nigga. And, like, it's no issues. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to go out and have a good time and be able to drink and have my, live my best life. There's been tons of times we went out and there was no issue. So, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? To me, the issues that have happened doesn't outweigh all the good times that I have had mm. when we and do I go think out. That's the- so to me, it's never, it's not that big of a deal because it hasn't outweighed that yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, if I feel like it was outweighing that, which now I feel like, but just over just different things we've been experiencing may have heightened that, but it doesn't mean that I think that is outweighing it. But now I feel like uh, it's getting a little on the line. So, you know, mm-hmm. I'm a pull back because, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. It makes sense. I get it. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I just, I just wanted to just, I feel like a lot of people go through like forcing something to make it work for each other when we don't have to force it. You know what I'm saying? Not like I said, again, not just me and Sade. I feel like a lot of couples, we do things to 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 be accepted in relationships or we do things because we think that our partner will want us to do it when that is the the main flame to the fire or uh, ignition to the fire, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like as, a, as, a, as, as humans, we got to really recognize our triggers, you know what I'm saying? And the more we can recognize our triggers, the more we can take a step back from these situations. That's what it really was. But um, let's get it popping, man. Let's talk this. Uh, we got a lot of like, Alex, you had a lot of shit that you that you put on a, um yeah. the bullshit list, basically. Um, yo, play. let's let's get into the Megan and Stallion and uh, little baby shit. Let's get into it. So let's get into. It. I mean, Megan and Stallion wins uh artist of the year. Well, yeah, artist of the year at the hit. BT Hip Hop Awards, and a lot of people feel like little baby shit. Um, I, mean, I agree. I think that I agree. Megan The Stallion was very popular this year. Um, she had a lot of public scandals, and she also had a lot of just publicity in general. I mean, she had Beyonce jump on her track, so I think that. Um, <laughs> What does that what mean? What does that mean? No, I mean it's not. I mean it's not. not what is it? Go I ahead. Mean, she to look. Go ahead. Mean, what I'm saying is, the Savage Remix was probably the biggest song of the year. I mean, was it not? So should she have won Artist of the Year? I'm not saying that because I personally don't even listen to Megan Thee Stallion. However, I know a lot of people that do. Now I listen to Lil Baby, and I know a lot of people that listen to Lil Baby too. However, I also know that Megan Thee Stallion is more popular than Lil Baby. Whether she's better or not, mm-hmm. or the best artist, I ne- I don't, I think all award shows we know is not, that's why Drake doesn't ever show up because I don't think it's based on the art as much as it is on the popularity of the art. But- so her winning, to me, is not a snub because I think that she was the most popular artist of the year and because that's how these award shows always work, I don't know why anyone would expect anything so so you mean so you don't think drake is one of the most popular artists like out there like but i'm just saying like like, just to keep it a bug there's been plenty of times that nikki didn't did drake drop an album this year no i'm not talking about this year but you sound about like why he doesn't show up to awards but i feel like there's years that because it's not based it's cap basically it's not it's it's not based on it's not based on who is the best it's based on who is the most popular now drake is very popular. However, there's been times where he wasn't the most popular because he doesn't have a lot of public scandals. Now, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying that Megan Thee Stallion deserved it. I'm saying that I don't think it was a quote-unquote snub because this is the culture of award shows in any realm. Oscars, Grammys, BT Awards, MTV Awards. It is not based, on, even the Billboard Awards, it's not based on the best art. It's not it's, based on facts. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's based on popular. It's a popularity contest. I mean, even but, and, and, so. But, I, I mean, I just want to shout out to Lil Baby and the Baby because it's just something they said. They was like, man, nobody give a fuck about these awards. Let's talk about who got the most money. And I feel like mm. some people might just really not give a fuck about it. And I that's think there's probably been some, Megan the Stallion yeah. too. Mm-hmm. She has a lot of endorsements. Yeah, and I feel like you know, like I said, like just even bringing it back to Nikki, everybody thought Nikki was complaining when she wasn't winning. You know these 
awards, but I just feel like, and she was clearly the best at that time. But like, I I agree. Like, I think it's more so a popularity. Contest, Y'all don't remember don't when think... when Jace when Jay Z said, "Tell the Grammys fuck that old for a shit." Have you ever seen the crowd going ape shit? Basically, he's saying. Fuck y'all. I sell out the most arenas. Y'all gave me 0 for 8 at the Grammys. Uh, have you ever seen the fucking crowd going ape shit? Obviously not, because if you understood and appreciate and Jay Z's been saying it since the beginning of his exactly. career. If you appreciated the art and that that's what this was no really question. about, it would be no question. Be but no because question. that's not what this is about, let me remove myself. Yeah. That's why so. these people do not attend these yeah. things because they are fixed. So Jay Z got think, 21 Grammys though. So right, that's I was about to say. Like, I don't it, know yeah, anyone. but it doesn't matter. He went 0 but, for 8 at, before, his, at the last that, one he attended. My question is And so, that was a great album. This not this this isn't worth like if you had a couple shots of Hennessy, this ain't really worth like going up there taking the uh the trophy from her and saying I mean, honestly. Well, okay, no hold on. The best. <laughs> best artist, is no, it worth that? Or how okay, close is it really? So in that aspect, no, because Beyonce was the most popular. She had the best music. She was, I mean, she literally had the most um, notoriety that entire year. So that right there, I understood that because there was no debate. However, with this, it it's is debatable. it is highly debatable okay. because I'm sure Megan Thee Stallion has more streams than Lil Baby, so, even if but, the music but, is not but, better. T- no. And, yes. Because we who's to say Taylor up? Swift's fans don't feel like the opposite? Okay. You Taylor know what I'm saying? It's a different demographic. Fans, it's a different. Dem- okay. I'll tell you the difference because let's be real. Black people do not listen to Taylor Swift. White people listen to Beyonce. So that's when it becomes a blurred line because we're talking about it. Two international. We can't artists. say black people. Uh, black I was about to I say, say because I got black you. people Majority. we know may not. I got you. I got you. No, because but white people that I know do listen to Beyonce. So what I'm saying is Beyonce is an international artist. Beyonce is not touring in America. Beyonce is touring internationally. So no, that's bullshit because everybody knows who Beyonce is. Everybody's listening to her. She literally had the most record sales that year, and her video was the most watched, which is why Kanye West. Kanye West was like. Come on now. The art was better and the numbers were better, which I understood. But it was also a white platform, which I said, these shows are fixed. So what what are we supposed to expect if this is always how it works? That's why at the Oscars, black people stopped showing up and they had to they had to in the view. The viewership went totally down. They had to recognize that black actors, actors and actresses are just as prominent and important as white people. That's why that whole culture shifted. Now you see. Before last year, man, I think Halle Berry might have been the only black woman who won an Oscar. That's ridiculous. There's plenty of black actresses that are phenomenal. But because this is a white platform, they're going to cater to their white audience. So because the BET Hip Hop Awards is a black platform and these are two black artists, they're going to cater to the more popular black artists. It's I mean, it's very simple. And and, and honestly, just to keep it a buck, Meg. The baby and little baby, they all been chasing the same. They they have been in a nice race, and I mean, like Megan was dropping like little baby, little baby, dro- little baby drops, but Megan was dropping. So what's the, and like, you know what's and the, the difference is promotion that, and it's promotion. And on top of that, Megan only she had Nikki on her shit, she had Beyonce on her shit, she had top tier artists on her shit. Like you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I get it. Like you know what I'm saying? I would have much rather to see little baby, of course, but you know what I'm saying? It just shows like. So what's the closer race, Megan Thee Stallion, Lil Baby, or Megan Thee Stallion, No Baby, when it comes to artists of the year? Uh, it's definitely, I don't even think, I think it's Lil Baby. It's definitely Lil Baby. Lil Baby, uh, the reason why I mean, I'm going I take to Lil say Baby Lil Baby, last Not year, talking about last year, last year, I would have said The Baby, because he was on The Baby was everything. on last year. But yeah, this yeah, yeah. year, I'm going to say Lil Baby, because Lil, Lil Baby, Baby has knocked shit out the park. I'm, I'm going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say over. Lil Baby, because I think that he's one of those artists that let the music speak for it, for mm-hmm. for itself, and I think that that's rare. And I think when you have an artist like that, there's longevity in it. Yeah. I don't see longevity in Megan Thee Stallion, and even though I think the baby is witty and creative, I don't see longevity in him um, unless he's like going to be an animated type of artist like Busta Rhymes. I feel like he's in like a more that street though. way. I feel like he's like that. I, I feel think like it's entertaining, like mm-hmm. but I think Lil Baby's got some real content going in his music, mm-hmm. and I think that it's timeless. I don't think that I want to hear. 
Megan Thee Stallion Savage anymore, and I don't think that I want to hear the baby Suge anymore. Oh, but yeah, I do right. want to hear Lil, Lil baby, baby emotionally scarred yeah. when I'm driving in and the car. And bigger picture, bro. like yeah. Yeah. Not, he got hits, bro. Now, Lil, ba- I ain't gonna lie, Lil Baby is. I feel like he's special. He's like one of them special breeds, yeah. like how. This might sound crazy, but how like Drake is special? I feel like Lil Baby is special. Not yeah. in the same way, but I definitely yeah, yeah like in his, not own, ca- way, in his own yeah. category. Yeah, but in his own, own way, I feel like Lil he's Baby is like his own lane. it's like damn, like where the fuck did you come from? Because and you like, didn't even want you didn't even want this. That just speaks on his raw talent. It's yeah, like, like yeah. it's just and he's very young. I think yeah, I think he's like, like twenty six. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's twenty six. Yeah, he's I thought he was long, younger oh. than that. Nah, he's younger than that. I thought he was too. Nah, shout out to Lil Baby though. He's definitely wilding. Man, shout out to um the baby. What's the nigga? Oh, yeah, what's the nigga name that um? Yo, baby. Yeah, what's the nigga that is K? Yo, he killed that remix. Like, I mean, god damn. I haven't heard it. You still ain't hear the song? I that haven't. shit cranked. I'm That's sorry. my shit. Oh my god. Shout out to B R S. That shit come on in the club. That shit is so. Shout out to the baby for uh. Unless I'm hosting. For for doing a remix with B R S. Cash, the guy that sang Throat Baby. I feel like that's dope as fuck because like. It's, and that's what I, who did the remix? Uh, the baby. The baby. So like, okay. what I fuck with about music is, is like, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's wide open. So like, if somebody likes something, they can really they can reach out to you and easily help you yeah. out. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I fuck up. I feel like with. Drake started that though. Let's give of Drake his flowers. Of course, he's been giving, giving Grammys on the, on Instagram. I mean, he been doing giving Grammys on Instagram, but I, I wouldn't say he started it though. Yay I would say he started did. it. So you can't say Yay started it because Gucci. it would be Jay Z. Gucci you know what I'm saying? It, it yeah, couldn't yeah, be yay yeah. because Jay-Z yeah, didn't want it. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, but hold on. But, I'm but saying, Gucci, I feel like Gucci wait, was how that. do we say Jay-Z? Well, Gucci, no, Gucci is Gucci was the, doing that motherfucker. Gucci, the king of putting niggas on. It's, nah, it's, he definitely <laughs> that, That's so icy gang. Hold on, so hold up. Here's the difference. <laughs> hold up, here's the difference. So Gucci did it in a smart way because he's signing people. That's his game. I feel like Drake, he ain't he ain't signing these people. Not Gucci wasn't signing, signing everybody. Because what? like he was working. Are you crazy? But the, the thing about Gucci, everybody. I feel like, is that Are he you was out of your mind? People. He didn't sign everybody. Yeah, no, he was signing everybody. everybody. It was under. So, wait, Future was signed by Gucci? Yes. I don't think he was signed. Future Thug, stop. I know for a fact. Future Thug, They were signed to Gucci. Yes. I remember him saying that and they were working the, with yeah, him. Yeah, I don't know. Stop, stop. They were signed to him. Y'all don't know about Gucci and Big Cat? Come on. They were signed to him. I don't. Everybody was under Gucci. When Gucci got locked up, he sold that shit to, okay, I want to say, 300. Because he put P. He said that yeah, P and Amigos yeah. were under him, and he let yeah, P take he him sold, because of that. He sold that. a lot of people to 300, and he sold a lot of people to uh, QC. So that's what he did. He sold Nicki Minaj. But wasn't signed to him. She was not, but he offered her to sign her. She chose to go with Young Money, but it wasn't like he didn't offer her a deal. So no, Walker. Mm. All I'm saying is a lot of niggas he put on. No, there, I don't think he. No, was, they like, were 1070. Go look it up, Young Thug. All them. So uh, what's all the nigga's signed name? To Gucci. Um, Travis Scott. Um, Travis Porter. Mm. Travis Porter. They were signed to him. Um, so you know what? I, I don't think he them. signed all these not, people. Like yes, he put he on did. a lot no, of niggas. Listen, yes, he did. But he was I think signing them. We have to look at like what type of deal they're signing. Like is there is it like. Management. It doesn't even like, matter. You're working with me, so I'm of course I'm jumping on your shit and boosting it. Now I'm not saying that that was his entire motive, but that had a lot to do with it. Drake is not signing these artists. He's literally blowing them up and he's stepping back. But I also think it benefits Drake because that's how Drake stays. He know. stays new. Mm-hmm. You know Facts. what I'm saying? But he's smart. Is is that's the way he markets himself as well. Gotti does but too. who? Gotti. I mean, Gotti work with a lot. Come on, bro. We going youngster. I mean, money I back. You're First of all, Gotti. Right hold now. up. I fuck with Gotti, but hold up. No, 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 no. Hold up. Okay, people. Gotti. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay, Gotti has a record label. Okay, those guys are signed to him now. Bag not signed up. He said it. Stop. Yes, he is. Okay. In a different, in a different type of deal. Now, Block Boy J. Look, hi. Oh, so y'all want to question it? No, no. Yeah, I do. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I want to question this shit because I don't sure? know. Y'all sure? Yeah, I'm questioning don't, don't, Listen, question. I was around when <laughs> these niggas wasn't even on yet, okay? When they just broke in, all right? And I'm going to tell y'all right now, the only artist that was not signed to him that he was in a sort of bidding war over was Block Boy JB. Now, I don't know where, like when Block Boy JB first dropped and Drake hopped on it, Gotti was um, facilitating a lot of that. Now, I do know that there was a sort of, I'm not going to say a bidding war, but there was like some back and forth on signing. Now, I know for a fact that he was, Blockboy JB wasn't signed to Gotti, but I know he was under some sort of management deal because I know that Gotti's assistants and shit and stylists would run over to Blockboy JB when he had a photo shoot and do him up. Now, that might have been his way to get him to sign, but he was, in, he was, listen, he was making money off of it. And this is before. Gotti was out of his deal with um, whatever record label and he had first started CMG. 
So, no, a lot of these people Have that you guys see getting put on, there's a lot of facilitation behind the doors that's going on. Now, as far as, um, as far as Drake, he is not signing these artists. So that's why I say he's, he's the pioneer of it. Them. He's co-signing them, but it's working for him too. So that's why I say he's the pi pioneer. The rest of these guys, oh, they're in deals. Trust me. All right. Mm. I know for 100% <laughs> facts. I don't know, because even watching Gucci interview with uh, Chella, he said, yo, he was like, man, he was just doing features for niggas. He was like, niggas mm -hmm. would have money. He was like, I would just do What's features for no, niggas. No, I'm not. So basically, it was like this. Like, and that's, that's what Drake niggas, does. No, that wouldn't be, so wouldn't even let Gucci, them in listen, Gucci. Okay, so in Atlanta, it's like, okay, it's sort of like studio neighborhood. That's how it works. So, yes, I'm not saying that a lot of people weren't coming through Gucci's studio and all that and recording. And he was like, oh, shit, like. What's up with this artist? Like, what's Zaytoven? Like, he put him on the beats. Like, that's how that worked. But what I'm saying is, majority of those Atlanta artists that you saw come up, a lot of them that some of y'all don't even know, were signed to Gucci Man. Okay. Let's get into it. And when he got crazy and went, got locked up, he sold a lot of them off. Hmm. I don't know, so I really can't have the all argument, right. per se. Well, that is the facts. You can look it up. Okay. Let's get into the... Uh, <laughs> like... I mean, we listened to the interview, and he said he was doing features, but... Okay. Let's get into so we, okay. Well, you nah, can look it up. I'm gonna look it up. I got you. I'm so gonna, why? Gonna, but my question is, why would he say that? Why do you feel like he would say that he wasn't? I didn't it? say that he did. He was everybody. She was saying. Every, she was saying it was a lot of people. That a lot we, of people might not were, even think what like, that was signed. Yeah, I like I, I know a saying. lot of these people, I so I know they were signed to him. I get what you're saying. I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying. I feel like he put. A, I feel like when it comes to putting people on, he's the king to putting niggas on. You might think it's Drake. I think it was Gucci. I think Gucci started that shit. I'm gonna say Drake. Cause think about it, Migos. Mm -hmm. I want to say he he definitely said something about Megan Thee Stallion Migos. that got her more lit. Hell no, Wale. Wait, wait, wait. That was how, could it, how could it have been? You got to give Wale his followers. Wale is not even Wale. big enough to do that. It, what what? Wale had the I think he had the first pole dancing, song. Pole dancing. With, when he had pole Megan dancing. Okay, you, but, you got and I'm not the biggest Wale fan. You just gotta give him his respect. Okay, but who's where, how many numbers did pole dancer do? Yo, that's when so, I first okay, heard so, Megan Thee Stallion. So so when 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 Drake came out at her concert, that didn't boost her. That's like no, I'm not saying it, but. He might have heard him. He might have heard her from Wale. That's like saying, for example, that's like saying Nicki Minaj. No, no, no. When that's like Drake might have heard her from Wale. I'm talking about the masses. Right, but I'm saying that's like saying that's like saying Gucci Man ain't put on Nicki Minaj because well, a she lot got of bigger people, when she got signed by Wayne. A lot of people would argue that Wayne put her on. Fuck no. Yes, they would. Because think about it. When she was doing them songs with Gucci, like yeah, the hood knew about her. When she started doing them songs with Wayne, the world knew about her. I feel like Wayne probably wouldn't have known about it if it wasn't for. That's Gucci. like saying. Jay Prince didn't put Drake on. Okay, yeah, we know he did, but come on, who really put Drake on? That would be Wayne. All right, okay. I like that. Let's get into the um last thing. Let's go. Well, not last thing. One before last thing. We was did we wanted we wanted to talk about this? Like we were talking about the Halloween costumes. I feel like Jasmine had a lot to say about this last night. I'm okay, so I actually saw the picture now um of Quincy doing Break it down for the people that don't know. So Quincy is Diddy's well, he's I'll be sure son, and um he also is Diddy's stepson. So he did a costume where he was imitating the Mexican artist Frida, which I did not know it was such a big artist when I had made my uh, statement. Um, a lot of people felt uncomfortable because they felt like he was demas demas emasculating yeah. the black man by dressing up as a woman. So I think that Halloween is one of those holidays where obviously everybody's dressing up as something they're not whether so it's a fictional a character whether it's somebody of a different um ethnicity i personally thought it was gay as hell i ain't got hey look i ain't i love the gay community okay my oldest brother is gay however when i saw the picture my initial thought was this is dope and this is gay um and you know a lot of people felt uncomfortable with it but a lot of people also enjoyed it and like i said i don't think there was anything wrong with it i think he slayed it you said it was dope it. and gay yes i don't think there's anything wrong with being gay so I, th I thought it was i thought it was very creative and i thought that he nailed it i also thought that it was fruity as fuck <laughs> and i have always thought he was gay and i stand by that now he may not be gay and he fine as hell so if he ain't gay Hey, <laughs> but boy, stop playing. You know, you, you know, you. So if he's not gay, you still why you say, why you say there was something that you said in a meeting that he was doing that was kind of suspect? 
What what are you saying? Like oh no, because she said she nah, said you know he's so he's oh, okay. no 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 oh no yes we can he yes Amber we can Rose best he was friend? Amber Rose's best what's wrong with having a best friend a girl best nothing friend. but not let me tell him. you something exactly okay so here's question. what it is for me because I have a lot of male friends you know what I'm saying all of them smash none of them right so what's wrong with a nigga having a hold up but let me finish because I feel like Monique get out my shot because I feel like. The type of woman that you befriend tells a lot about you as a man. Now, Amber Rose, I don't know her personally. I just know what she represents. So does anybody know of any other males who are besties with Amber Rose? I mean, no, nah, it ain't about, see, it ain't really about Amber Rose and. It is, you. though, because was I'm saying the Savage, type of was woman. Was Savage dating her at that time? When yes, he no, no, not with. At what, what Amber time? Rose when he went to the slut walk, like when he yeah he was and he, they and he yeah they were oh, and he went know. but that's different because yeah that's important he looked yeah. he stuck out like a sore thumb you know what I'm saying and we all know what 21 is is about do we yeah so I feel like in that aspect okay yeah you rep your woman I feel like that's so manly like goddamn like your bitch is out here doing a slut walk and you standing right by her you know what I'm saying like to me that is very manly yeah but. Not when you're posing with your backs to the camera. And uh, yeah, that to me is suspect. And like I said, I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. This is just all speculation. Speculation. But in my opinion, I do think that he is definitely um, undercover. Hmm. Or he, he never even said his sexuality. So I'm not going to say undercover, <laughs> but I think he's gay. And I think that if you're best <laughs> friends with a girl who is extremely prissy, and who is very um, vocal about that, I think that that is strange. Because I don't know anybody that's strictly platonic that is besties with people. A Not a thought, but just, no, I know that. I mean, that. she says whole his life, so we can say that, right? No? So, but yes, she does. But that's but, not the message. No, I'm, she's I'm trying not, to rewrite that. But I'm saying we can say that, right? I'm but not going to call that woman a thought to be because I only know no, of her smashing Kanye and Wiz Khalifa. But what I will say is this. <laughs> I don't even think that has anything to do with it. There's plenty of people out here. Niggas is fucking, bitches is fucking. We know that. I'm saying in the your demeanor, the way you carry yourself. You like, only know how to smash Kanye and Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. And then, then the you, other guy she's with now. I mean, that's three people. She's a grown fucking woman. Okay, yeah, okay, that's four. I mean, shit, I date around, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and in my 20s, you know, I dated a couple niggas, so I'm not going to sit here and call her a hoe because I don't feel that way about it. I feel like a hoe is somebody who's out here fucking people and carrying themselves a certain Speaking way. That, did y'all see that with Selena Powell and academic? Okay, boom, a hoe. Yeah, I, saw that. I think that's <laughs> all hoe. publicity, but a hoe, a hoe, a straight hoe. But back to the hmm. point at hand, what I'm saying is, you as adults... Think, yeah. To have a strictly platonic friendship with the opposite sex and they are nothing like you, I think that is definitely a red flag. Because I know, well, like, the niggas that, that I'm cool nothing. with, we bond over... Shit that... Over sh shit. Not even just nigga shit, but just shit that I feel like we have that's in common. Gotta, yeah, that's yeah you, like, that's if think, we go like. sports bet together, you know what I'm saying? Or we watching the game together. She's like, this is nigga shit. It's not. It's human shit. Um... <laughs> Shit, I know a couple niggas. We gonna get our feet done together. You know what I'm saying? They ain't getting no polish. But shit, it's a it's a it's a pedicure. I got polish, player. I mean, that's fine. That's I don't say anything oh, it's wrong not polish? with it. No, I was told that's not polish. So it's, it's see how you don't polished. even know. You, put it on. you don't I even mean, know. That's what I was told. Is that it's just a clear coat. Oh, come on, <laughs> clear coat. That's polish, polish. guys. <laughs> but <laughs> regardless, what I'm saying is, you have friends that you bond over shit with. But then I think that there's times when you're fr like, okay, this is what I've been taught. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but a family member taught me that any man that is friends with you either wants to fuck you or has definitely thought, thought about, about it. it. Of course. Okay. Is this true? Okay. I but mean, me I think, thinking about I think it doesn't I, necessarily mean that I'm a act. Boy, on what? Why are you smoking crack? Okay. You so act my point it? is this. There's now you're going to act on it, but I don't give a fuck. I mean, you're not about to be no friend with a nigga that's thinking about fucking her. That's what I'm looking at it from. Oh, I ain't looking about at it from my relationship. Hell from. yeah. I ain't looking at it from, I mean. Okay, but I'm saying just from like a, a general standpoint, like as a man, when you befriend a woman, you don't think about fucking her or you don't have intentions on fucking her? Not all the time. So not, you, not, not all the time. So, so there's women that you've never even, and I'm talking about from a general perspective. I'm not talking about like, oh, I met you through this person. I'm talking about 
y'all became friends organically and you ain't think about hitting. No. So no, I don't my think, point. I don't, I don't think that's. I mean, I don't think that's true. Not all the time. So give an example. So it can't be through somebody you met though. Like it can't be like. I no, you, it can you. be like y'all just stumbled upon each other and became friends organically, just like you would a nigga. And you never thought like oh, I'm trying but to get that drink. What can, if it's like business? Like yeah, you can it. like yeah, you can you can go. That's to, different because you're meeting through something. But I'm saying like, say you're at the bar and you're having drinks and you meet a female and you're not trying to get at her at all and y'all okay, become but that's besties. Different, but that's friendships, bullshit. Friendship, friendships like develop differently. You know what I'm saying? So to say that a man can't be a friend with a woman and not try to have sex with her, I feel like that's kind of or going picture it. I mean, you're lying because I also know a guy who told me. That he looks at every woman's ass that walks by. Now it's not because he wants to hit it or he because he wants to see it. It's just a habit. Like that's just what fuck. men do. Suck your dick. Would you say? I said take out fuck because I feel like all men like ah uh, I can see her suck. Yeah, she just I'll let her suck. But even the I'll let her. I'll let her do. But that's what I'm. I'll let her do something. Like I mean, sexually, say, sexually, right. 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 That's what exactly. you're saying. Exactly. <laughs> like that's so. What, what saying. I'm saying is okay. to be best friends with a woman. Like that, and it's strictly platonic, is a red flag to me because I feel like, as a man, you, it just doesn't look right. Who else was besties with Amber Rose as a guy? I don't know. It may not have been public. I mean, but. Shit, I have no idea. Exactly. Nobody. So my point was, and there's nothing against them, and I, I'm not saying that I have anything against their friendship. What I'm saying is a red flag. I. So do you think, outside of that, do you think that um, men and women can be best friends, period, and not have no relations? I do. I think that if, well, I don't think that, okay, this is what I'll say. Cause I have a, I have a male friend who I consider one of my best friends. Um, I think that in the beginning there were times where he wanted it to go further, but I think that over time when it didn't go further and when I started bringing men around him and he started bringing women around me, are your friends on them? No, no, I'm not going to say that. It, it I'm not going to say them basically. What she's I'm not going to say, say no, I'm not saying I friend zone him. Like, he was always a friend in my mind. You know mm. what I'm saying? I met him organically, and I didn't have any type of physical attraction to him. He's a great-looking guy, and he's, he's doing great in life. But I personally didn't look at him that way. Mm -hmm. But I know for a fact that he looked at me in that way at some point because he was vocal about it. But I shut it down, and once he understood that, it, for me, it wasn't worth losing the friendship because he tried his hand because I know that's human nature. Mm. But once I shut it down and we kept moving forward and he didn't do it again and he started bringing women around me and I started bringing men around him. Now we can literally go anywhere together and that doesn't even come up. It doesn't even it doesn't even cross. It doesn't blur lines. He talked to me sometimes about his women. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk to him about my men. What should I do? Oh, what should I do? But I feel like it's possible. I think that it's unrealistic, though, to say that not one person had some different type of thoughts at some point in the friendship. I think that's bullshit. When does, people say that, feel, that's only in the movies. So do you feel like that more movie. so falls on women to create those boundaries? Or no, I don't think that. I, I don't it's think that. Side too. Like, it's on men to respect those boundaries. Are, yeah. And I've seen women. Yeah, listen, like, look at but me that's what you, that see, girl. You just Man, said it's she on. was... A you yeah, yeah, like that was his like, bestie. Make sure they got besties and shit. No, I don't. Where? Yeah, what male best friends? Well, she got a whole brother. Been... That's not her blood. That's a brother. That's a best friend? No, it's, no, that's it's not, not her blood. That's your best friend. Yeah, that's my brother. That's your that's, best friend. No, that's not he, your But he's not even my best friend. That's the thing. He's literally my brother. Shut he's a, not my best friend. He's not your brother in real life, so it's but your best friend. No, he's not my best friend. No, because he's they not were my best friend. through somebody that she was dating, and that's yeah. what makes her his brother. Yeah, that... You want to go jump? No, I'm not saying nothing wrong with it. It's still your best friend because you best friends become family. I'm not saying that y'all try anything. Okay, so the I'm saying it's your best friend. No, no, no. That's He's like my family. Bro, family. He's not my best friend ever. Like that's what I'm saying. Like Cornell's not my. I, like I don't consider him a best friend. That's literally family. I so it's not like best saying. friend is like I'll call. Je you know what I'm saying? We I don't call Cornell. For I, not, like I you know get, that's my family. I get what you're saying. But, but what I'm not saying is because friend. that's not your blood family. Mm. At like I call somebody my brother because we're best. Like we're okay, so close that that's. But you and Antoine are best friends with your brothers. Right, but if somebody if we had to break it down, I'd be like, "Yeah, that's my best friend. That's why I would never call. He's I, not my friend. He's my but brother." I don't look at that as my best friend. See, you and Antoine don't even talk like that. We day, don't. Y'all family. Yeah, that's my brother. That's that's okay. my like, But best I can friend, recognize and say that I get. I call him my brother that because that, yeah, that close. Okay, friend. we so, that close. That that's no, my but brother. I don't even think. I think we're family. I don't think we're so, best friends. Okay, I think that 
those two are synonymous in some cases. The reason why I say that this guy is like my best friend because I do communicate with him regularly. However, exactly. it is at a point where it's like we're family and that's disgusting for yeah. us to do anything. Yeah, that's okay. We intertwined yeah. our families. Like we are all, we are, yeah. we locked in. Yeah. But there's been at times now where I've considered somebody, my family, that was not my best friend, that was a male. And I had thoughts of like, damn, I'm about to try to, try my hand now you know what i'm saying so hmm. i'm not saying that um she doesn't have male best friends but i'm saying like if she considers him her family that means that it's understood that it's not going there that's yeah. how i feel about my male best but friend. he's not my best friend but that's my friend. right <laughs> this, like, this dude really yeah. like i, I don't, don't have spend any... my birthday with him you know what really i'm saying have, i don't have guy best friends like just to be honest i never really did well, for me, I don't think it's bullshit. Nah, it's, it's just not. it's not bullshit. It's, it's just not. never been. I would never say that. To be honest, I don't like sports. Everybody knows that. I don't give a fuck about sports. I don't like I don't have nothing that much in common with a guy where I would be his best. And that was like, my that's point my about thing. Amber like, Rose in the boy Yeah, Quincy. like that's just that's just not my thing. Now like, me, it's more understandable yeah. because I like a lot of nigga shit. Yeah, I'm but, not I'm not that type. Like I'm talking about clothes and hair. Like no nigga can But you don't but I feel like we don't know. But, like you don't have to be best friends to so, like, for example, like Courtney, that was your brother, but uh, your other friend, Ooh. you call family. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. That um, his friend, I guess. Um, I don't know, but it's like y'all all family. I really don't. The other guy, the strong, cocky dude that was Lenny. A, yeah, Lenny. Oh, right? that's my so, daughter's godfather. Right. So right. again, I feel like that comes from a place of being best friends. We don't have to hang every day and but do everything the same to be, be best your friends. Definition of best friends. That's it, not my. That's, so, the, that's for you, and that's right. fine if you look at it that way. But that's not what I consider a best friend. Like you know what I'm saying? Because even Lenny, like she, you guys were saying, like not that you met through somebody. Lenny is Amaya's godfather, but his girlfriend at the time is Amaya's godmother. They broke up, but that. That bond created through somebody yeah. else. That wasn't a platonic that like I met me and, on my own. Like so, even Cornell. I Cornell, you know what I'm saying, was is a cousin to my ex boyfriend who passed away. We got close when he passed away and his family became my family. But that it, it was always somebody. through somebody. The guy I'm we're talking, talking about, about you said you guys were talking about organic organic, like an organic bond. Just I don't have no male best friends. Like I don't have that. Like at all right like these are people i met through people who we all were family at a point and whether some people lasted or didn't we just kept the family gathering between us so we're family however neither one of them are my best friends they know that like yeah we're close like we're family like it's family but that's not my none of those and are my you know best what friends. it's funny because um you know with me and the guy that i consider my best friend um you know we've had a lot of issues like when we are in relationships where his partner feels uncomfortable or my partner feels uncomfortable. And, um, it's one of those things where it's like, look, bros over hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like he's going to come first regardless, like not saying hmm. he's above you in terms of like, Oh, you know, I wouldn't, I would die for him. Like, I'm not saying it like that, but it's like, look, if you can't accept me with him as my best friend, I'm not going to, I'm not going to cancel him to make you feel comfortable because he literally comes with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like either you get with it or you don't. She doesn't have anyone that makes you feel that way. So I know they're not best friends because they're not talking enough. They're not seeing each other enough. This was an, this has been an ongoing issue for me and him when we do bring partners around because they don't feel comfortable with talk our a communication. Lot. Yeah, like, yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I just feel like it can be best friends. and, and Do you and have a female best friend? Mm, nah, I, don't really, I I had one, but I don't really have a female best friend. My female best friend is my woman. What I would say is, honestly, I just feel like it's nothing wrong with having, like, I call I call Cornell, Lenny, her best friends, because these are men that will do whatever if it, if they had to. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I get it. It's family, but they're not blood. So it's, it's friends. It's a best friend. Like, that's how I look at it. So, yeah, I don't feel, they're not doing nothing that, that make me feel uncomfortable. But like you said, you said when you've known somebody for a long point of time, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm a nigga. I, I think that I'm pretty sure one of them might have thought of it, but it's not worth, it's not worth me tripping over because that's, I understand me being a man, that you probably had these thoughts. And also being a man is more, for me, I, I think it's, it's more dope the fact that you could have these thoughts and still control them and be like, nah, that's family first yeah. because that shows more. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think Drake said the line, like, don't like it's more attractive when you hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Not yeah. saying that they had something to hold it down, but it's the fact that. But I'm I think, a like you said, over time, and I think that has a lot to do with it. And that's why I said, like, in the beginning, you know, he did try his hand. 
but once it got shut down, that was the last time he tried to yeah, say it's it. Respectful. And it's I, and respectful. I and I, but I think like over the years now, I definitely don't think that he is looking at me like yeah. that. And all I'm but saying it takes is, time for that. Right. Now, exactly. It takes time for that. And I just feel like it's nothing wrong. All I'm saying is I don't think it's nothing wrong with having male best friends. But it's just different aspects of friendship. Like, like, like I'm saying, like I look at Lenny and Cornell as her best friends, but I don't look at it like an issue. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Because, because they're never, not because they're not communicating I, I, regularly. Like I, I'll mm-hmm. tell you, like, okay, so with me and my best friend, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, like we're actually hanging out, you know what I'm saying? Or we're going on trips together or we're, you know, if he's in a bind, I'm going to come bail him out. If I'm in a bind, he's coming to bail me out. I talked about it on like the first episode when I said my friend got me a better gift than my boyfriend at the time. You know what I'm saying? Like same thing this year. Like that's who I spent my birthday with. That's my best friend. You know what I'm saying? And I think that when it's like that, I can see how, but see now, like, even my daughter's father, he's like, oh, what you doing for your birthday? And I'm like, I ain't doing nothing for real. I'm going to go to dinner by myself. He's like, oh, you going by yourself? You must be going on a date. Nah, Joe's going to pull up. Oh, all right, cool. Because he knows, he knows what it is. So it's like, he, don't, he looks at it like, all right, that's literally, that's no, her, that's, that's kind of what I'm so saying. I just feel like there's nothing wrong with it. But what, like I said, that came over time, like you said. Yeah, though. but like, it you comes know, over like, time. like but, that's, they, but they built organically. Like I said, like, for example, like, I know, like, you know, when it comes to the communication and stuff like that, like, for example, again, like you may think because you're a guy, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, guys is guys, but Cornell has never in our history of friendship ever once was like, you know, may, it's never been that. Lenny has never in the history of our friendship, but like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just, like I said, like we didn't build, a, like it was organic, like as far as like but genuineness, like- but it wasn't organic in a way where we met just separate Y'all like met no through so a, we, a guy exact, that was their friend so it's like exactly for example me and you you're not gonna look at me like that because you know i'm her best friend right. so you're gonna look at me like a sister that's how they're looking exactly. at her it never was even an option exactly so it there's no option. point exactly. because their right hand man was her dude so may god rest his soul but why would they ever look at her like that that is then I don't even think she'd be best friends with them with. or good friends or family because that's exactly. some that will fuck it up. Foul like shit. That, that's foul. Like exactly, that, and that's what I mean. Like when it comes in terms of like guys, like you know, looking something like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that that's what that's what's always actually kept me from having a guy best friend because there's no guy that I did meet organically that didn't like me and like or wanted something like you know what I'm saying. I'm like oh, next, like you know what I'm saying. It's, it's so me. funny because like okay, hmm. even with the recent situation I was in, you know, when I needed to get a lawyer, um. You know, I decided, like, I'm just going to pay for it myself because it's my responsibility, whatever. But I talked to my best friend about it, and he was like, look, he was like, go get one of them niggas that you talking to or fucking. I don't know if you fucking or not, and make them pay for it. And he said, and if they don't pay for it, I'm going to pay for it. And you know that. But first, go try it first. And I think that's where it becomes a different type of understanding. Like, if a man is telling you, if a man is trying to get with you, he don't want that. He's going to be like, oh, baby, I got it. I'm going to do it or whatever to think that that's going to heighten his chances of getting in there. Now, I'm talking about somebody who has, you know, my best friend, he's caked up. So it ain't nothing for him. But it's like out of respect of our dynamic, you better go try it first. Nobody's sending the girl that they want to be with or care about off to do that. And I know this man cares about me. I don't think that's true when it comes to that because I just feel like it's part of the game. I feel like a part of the game is supporting you a part of the game is letting you do what you do or letting you dibble and dabble and whoever you want to dibble and dabble and just hmm. being honest see i think that's not true hmm. because i think that there are men who have d- bad intentions and i don't consider them my friends i consider them associates but i don't and think- i feel like they were like oh you're gonna get somebody else to do it. then uh, then you know like then no, i'm not saying it's, it's, i'm not saying that it's, it's not men that does that i'm not saying that i will never say that all i'm saying is i feel like you can have one of the same, like we had this conversation about two truth. Okay, hold up. You okay, so <laughs> you know you know my friend Mike, right? Strictly platonic. That's another person. He like, well, he ended up getting me a lawyer because he knew someone, but that's what I mean by like, okay, me and Mike have never been intimate, but I could call on Mike for anything, vice Plus. versa. Mm-hmm. But it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm not doing nothing for you if somebody else does it right that, because that's not a friendship that's a nigga who is trying to do more and you're pissing him off but a friendship is like 
whatever you doing, I got you, but you know what you do. So do you know what I'm saying? Like in any aspect, not just when it comes to money, it could be anything like, okay, say I'm going on a vacation, right? Mm -hmm. My best friend, or say I want to go on a vacation. My best friend is going to already assume that I'm going to go on a vacation with some dude that I'm dealing with. But if they don't want to go on a vacation, he like, well, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go run it up. Let's have fun. You know what I'm saying? But it's not a thing of like, oh, you were going to go with, or <laughs> if that's when it becomes like, okay, I know what you're in it for. And all I'm saying is you can have friends that don't give a fuck about either and still fuck you. That's all I'm saying. You what can you have mean? friends that don't give a fuck and still be friends and still fuck you and probably still don't even give a fuck that he fucked you and still be cool with whoever you fucking with, getting money from whatever. But see, to me, that's not a real friend because I don't consider anybody who don't give a fuck my friend. Because not give a fuck, but I'm saying like won't be jealous or something. When I say don't give a fuck, I mean like won't be jealous or get, care that you have a relationship with I think with when else. you care about somebody, you either care about them romantically or you care about them non-romantically. Eh. I, I just do. And I don't, I don't think that it would be a genuine friendship. First of all, if you're fucking me and you're my best friend, and you don't care, then you already can't be my best friend because you don't care about me. Because <laughs> I ain't saying it like are that. you crazy? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I feel like if that's the case, you won't be my man. I mean, okay. I'm I'm not saying like that, but I guess this we're dragging this. I was gonna ask though. Do you feel like you could like go to best friend like you know too much about a person? They're just like, mm. like you know, Absolutely. like you have those intimate conversations. It's just like I can never because you know too much about a person. It's like it's just like yeah, or you've never. seen things that. It's like, I uh, would never I would do never. in front of a dude that, and then it's like, okay, bitch, like, I see what time it is with you. Like, I would I'm never. good off you. You're yeah. disgusting. Let these other niggas have you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yo, you don't uh, think, I think so, but anyway. Really. Yo, episode 45 today? <laughs> yes, Damn. Go vote, y'all. Yeah, make sure y'all go vote. Uh, what's that, what's that last day? It's on Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, that's the last day? Mm hmm That's election day. Damn, man. So make sure y'all go vote. Um, they said some things that they said about uh, like if you in a if you in a line and they close, they say it's closed, you still stay in line. Mm -hmm. Just a little little key points. So still stay in line if they close. Um, if somebody uh tries to persuade you to vote for somebody, report it. Mm -hmm. So like oh, um, also uh, there is a scam that's damn, going on. So move like the one two. Now I'm good. There is so a scam vote. that's going on that people are calling you to try to confirm your social security. An election judge would never do that. So if somebody's calling you like yo, you voted. Yeah. Hey, don't tax do that. people be doing that too. They don't do uh -huh. that either. So yeah, yeah the nobody tax ever people, really called you and said to verify your so exactly. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah man, make sure y'all go vote. <laughs> I almost got got like um, that one time. Yo, it's crazy because we watching church today. Um, and if you into this type of stuff, pray before you vote. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you say a prayer before you vote. Mm -hmm. Um, shit, say a prayer. Every pray day before you do anything. anything. You know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> like, no facts. But that was Jim and I scope your podcast episode forty five. We out. Shout out to the gang. It's a wrap. We out. Wait, I just want to say That's thank you. Thank you for having me back. Aww. Um, Aww. I'm glad that we reached an agreement off of camera. And I feel like, um, you know, regardless, y'all my family, business or no business, but I am grateful that we can do business and maintain our same friendship. Well, let's get it. That's what so this podcast 45. is about. Five. We out. Episode 45.